What's the juiciest rumor at your school that turned out to be 100% true? Resource officer was a child molester and then murdered his wife after he was fired. He fled and they still haven't found him over 10 years later. He's on Marshall's top 15 most wanted list. His name was Dan Hires and his mother thinks he's dead. The computer tech teacher got caught having asterisk with a student. He was put on suspension while the investigation was conducted. He killed himself by running his car into a tree. New kid comes to high school. Has a funny accent because his parents were missionaries, traveling all over the world. He was actually kind of cool. Spoke at least four different languages, English, Spanish, Russian and Mandarin. He was super polite and everyone liked him. Of course he had haters, mainly the so-called bullies, a concept he never understood. Rumor began that he was well versed in many forms of martial arts. He never denied or admitted to them. One of the bullies decided to find out. He was much bigger than the new kid. New kid did everything in his power to not escalate the fight. Even took a punch from said bully. Well, guess the rumor was true. Not only did the new kid beat his, the bully shit himself. Most awesome thing I ever saw in high school. Edit, unfortunately, I was never really close to him. But I had heard from another friend of mine that he ended up moving after high school. Nobody seems to know anything else. I barely remember his first name, it was not an easy one, let alone his last name. So he will live on in memory as that one foreign kid that nobody messed with. Two teachers that were married to each other were sleeping with students. The husband was the first to do it and the wife found out and slept with some of her students as revenge. Also, the resource officer was sleeping with some of the 18-year-old seniors. All got confirmed when they were fired for it. Well the teachers got fired. The officer got moved to bicycle patrol. This one girl would make those colorful friendship bracelets made out of needlepoint floss for every guy she gave a BJ to. There were lots of bracelets. Edit. I sure hope Emily doesn't have read it. Edit 2, just because Emily gave med BJS, doesn't mean I will. Get yeah bracelets elsewhere. The art teacher was sleeping with both the history teacher and re-teacher. She was married to the chemistry teacher who she'd previously had an affair with while married to the woodwork teacher. I believe she married the re-teacher sometime after I left school. Edit, a few people have asked what re is. Religious education which state schools in the UK used to have to teach. Taught by an atheist which was refreshing. This is better than a Mexican soap opera. Rumor had it that a teacher was having with some of his students that wanted higher grades. No one believed it to be true because he was married and just had his third baby. 100% true and all the students were proud of it. He's still in jail five years later. Students were proud of it. I a teacher for my B+. Wait up, I'm A level here bro. That there is an underground bunker from the Cold War era below the school. Not only is it there but it turns out you can access it from the PE changing room through a secret trapdoor. Edit, it's in Krakow, Poland, because so many of you were curious. And it looks like there's actually lots of schools that have one. Edit 2, also. It is confirmed to be a bunker but it was built before the school existed and was most likely emptied by previous owners of the building. Oh, finally. One that's interesting and not about, cheating, coming in the ranch bottle, or doing other horrible nasty shit. Did you get to go in? Any cans of peaches and what not? Edit, coming in the ranch. A younger male teacher, upper 20s, newlywed, was having in his classroom during lunch with an older female teacher, married in her mid-forties. A student caught them and filmed them, pretty much blackmailed them into turning themselves in. At least he was asterisking a teacher and not a student. We had a Spanish teacher who would keep giving random financial slash business advice during classes. One day he tabbed over to his stock trading homepage and accidentally revealed that he was a millionaire. Rumors about his past started circulating. Around graduation some students found old newspaper articles confirming that he was a former meth dealer who had spent time in jail. Was a seriously cool guy, actually. That would be a good Breaking Bad spin-off. We had a physics teacher who was rumored to be a millionaire as well. 
It was said that he had a hand in the development of MRI machines in his younger years. I know he himself had stories about working in the lab of an MRI factory, so I'm pretty sure OT checks out, even if he never said how much money he had. Either way, the rumors were that he had enough to retire any time he wanted, so it was probably a lot. Two sports teachers were having an affair with each other, even though one of their spouses was also a sports teacher in the same school using the same dinky office. Rumor was confirmed when the two dudes had a fist fight in the basketball court. I feel like every PE teacher I ever had was plowing another member of staff. Edit, I should mention I was homeschooled. That the school district security guard would let you get away with anything if you gave him some coke. He later got caught and fired for it. If anyone one else went there it was at Desert View HS in Tucson edit, I was talking about cocaine, not the soda for those who didn't realize that. And on a serious note, it's all about the DRP and the rest. The wood tech teacher was married to the French teacher, they had a child, the P.E teacher the French teacher, the wood tech teacher went into the P.E department and threatened to beat the shit out of the P.E teacher with a cricket bat, I believe this was during a normal school day but it was before my year started there. A second P.E teacher got involved and stopped it so everyone kept their jobs. Later on the wood tech teacher married the geography teacher and they had two kids whilst a third P.E teacher cheated on her husband with the second P.E teacher and every Wednesday an hour before lunch I would see P.E teachers 2 and 3 through the window of my science classroom. They would get in a car and leave together, sometimes I would see them come back and sometimes I wouldn't. I jokingly pointed it out to people before anyone else caught on and later they became a couple that was known to students. TL, DR, 6 teachers, 3 pregnancies, 2 affairs, 1 angry husband with a cricket bat. My 6th grade math teacher was super creepy. He would assign seats randomly but always placed the girls in the front of the classroom. Did the whole lingering stare thing, and was always trying to get people to hang out with him during lunch. I never did but he was married and has a baby so no one really suspected him of anything other than being creepy. Fast forward about 7 years. The teacher ended up being a offender. He had an ongoing relationship with a girl that began when she was 13. Based on what I could see from the various news articles, she was either in my year or the year before me. The police came to arrest him in the middle of his class, cuffed him in front of his students, and then had him walk throughout campus in cuffs to get to their car. I don't feel bad for him at all, but I can't imagine how his wife and son must feel. Edit, for everyone asking, this was in the Bay Area, California. Probably not the juiciest thing, but the one I remember because of how I found out. A few of our high school library's walls were weird. Sort of a lowercase b shape. So there was this empty space behind the bookshelves up against the walls. Tunnels, basically. Word was, Students were in there. I worked in the library. Had to move the shelves, clean the tunnels. Found used condoms. It was an all-boys school at the time, if that matters. Mind, the condoms weren't the worst thing, really. The leftover food debris in there was worse, stuff like chicken bones. Edit, couple years later, I was talking with an ex-schoolmate. Another guy from our graduating class comes in. I hate that guy. My friend says, he's gay. Uh, dude, you're gay. There's gay, and there's so gay other gay people think you're too gay. Turns out that Jen had been one of the entrepreneurial fellows selling services, for a few dollars ago. I wasn't shocked, since I already had some idea. But I was surprised that the going rate had been so cheap. The cheerleading team was doing coke off the toilet seats. Edit, for everyone saying the tank would be better. Maybe my high school was unusual but we had the same high power flush toilets like other public bathrooms. They had no tanks. Just the base of the toilet and the seat. Our bathrooms had no doors to the entrance, probably as a deterrent to this behavior, so the counters were a no-go. The toilet paper dispensers were those large circular ones. Believe me I agree with those of you saying it's gross and idiotic, but there weren't that many alternatives in the bathroom. We weren't allowed to have bags or backpacks with us so no one carried a purse, and they did it in the middle of class so bringing a textbook would be suspect. Also the main offenders were too young to drive so they didn't have keys necessarily, and this was pre-smartphone and before the average high school student even had a cell phone. Edit 2, 
Real glad the cheerleaders collective idiocy lead to my highest rated comment.